Good evening. This is Bell Geode, and we are back with some more Microsoft Flight Simulator X Steam Edition with the Tom Cattery Tour. And today I've got a special gift for Allie. Allie, can you see your gift? Oh my god, Bell. Oh my god, you remembered my birthday? Yeah, Allie, I remembered your birthday. I've been telling you I was going to get you something big. Why didn't you believe me? Not only that, but I've also got a little tour in mind for us. The flight plan's already loaded in your GPS. So I'm not dreaming, Bell, right? I am looking at two Texan 2s. <laughs> no, you're not dreaming. That actually is a T6A. Yes, that's a Texan 2. And this one I had done up in Air Force colors with little tiger stripes there because I figured you might appreciate it. And then I got the other one done up for me as well. She's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my god, Belle, I've never seen anything this beautiful in all my life. Needless to say, I'm not going to tell you just exactly how much I spent to get both of these birds, but I'm glad you appreciate it. Oh my god, Belle, I don't know what else to say. This is absolutely incredible. And the other one over there, is that navy colors? That would be affirmative, ma'am. I figure we can name them both Tiger and Shark. Little joke there. <laughs> I don't care what you want to name them, Belle. They're absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much for my birthday gift. I'm glad you like that one. Although, if you want, you can always fly the shark. I mean, look at that. Look at the pretty colors. I'm good, Belle. I'm good. I'll fly this one. I'm going to assume you remember the startup sequence, right? I do indeed. Well, all right then. Go ahead and hop in, get her started up, and check out your GPS, and you'll see where we're going to be headed today. I can't wait. Okay, I'm going to hop in. Ooh, that new plane smell. Such a silly girl. Uh, yes, folks, you are seeing correctly. This is the Iris T6A Texan II. Not one, but two of them. And just look at this bird. Call me biased, but I got to say, I absolutely love this Navy livery here. But I can understand where Allie's coming from being ex-Air Force, you know, really getting into the tiger-striped one. It looks pretty cool, too. But how about instead of admiring these birds, let's go ahead and hop into the office and we'll do some flying. Because I've got a really awesome tour in store for us today. Ooh, that is comfy. Alright, looks like Allie just got in. Okay, uh, let's see. Checklist. Alright, so we want the battery first. And there we go. And let's go ahead and do some lamps test. All caution and warning lights are on. Very good. AOA light test. That's up here. Yep, looks like it's functional. Alright. And we'll do a fire test real quick. Okay, firelight is on. This is good. So far, I am liking this. Alright, so we're going to want to turn our nav lights on. And we'll head back over here. I believe I need to put the PMU to norm. PMU is right there. Okay, fuel booster is probably going to need to come on as well. Uh, let's see, everything else looks like it's in the right position there. Oh, you know what? Engine cut off. Let's go ahead and hit that real quick here. I want to say that's everything I need on that side for now. Okay, so where was I? Uh, fuel boost pump. We need you to come on. And while we're at it, we'll go ahead and get the generator on. There we go. Our radio came to life, so I'll contact Allie in a minute and make sure she can hear me okay. Okay, ignition on. Pulling the throttle up. Okay, we've got ST ready, so we are ready to start up. Now's a good time to close the canopy. Okay, and locked. Shark 2 Tiger, Allie, can you read me? I read you 5x5, five five, Bell. I'm getting ready to start her up now. Copy that, Tiger. You gotta use your call sign, by the way. Alright, I'm starting up now. Seriously, Bell, you want me to call you Shark for this entire flight? <laughs> yeah, why not? Come on, it'll be fun. Alright, I've got a good start on this end. How about you? <sighs> the things I do for you, Bell. Okay, Shark. Tiger is starting up right now. 
Tiger has a good start. Roger that, Tiger. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my little startup sequence here. Let me know when you are ready. Well, I'm certainly not gonna go anywhere without you, Bill. Oh, excuse me. Shark? I'm gonna let that one slide only because it's your birthday. Okay, ignition switch off, starter off, boost pump can now go off, bleed air, we want that set to high. And it's a little stuffy in here, so let's get some oxygen flowing. There we go. Okay, and what do we need on this side? Oh crap, I forgot the anti-collision lights. Well, I suppose I might as want to turn those on. And what I also turned on there is the trim aid and our taxi lights. Okay, we're also going to set up our HSI in map mode and GPS mode and zoom it out one notch. Alright. Tiger to Shark, all control services check out. You have a weather report? What runway are we using? Stand by, Tiger. I was just doing that. Kilo, Tango, Papa Hotel, automated weather observation. Two, one, two, one, Manila. Wind, three, four, seven, and three. Visibility, greater than two, zero miles. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, two, seven, Celsius. Two point, one, zero, Celsius. Altimeter 3016, we're taking off to the north, so runway 32. Roger that, Shark. Tiger copies. Shark, I've got green lights for everything. Brake checks done. Fuel checked. I'm moving out. Heading to runway 32. Roger, Tiger. I just did my final checks. I see you moving out now. I will be right behind you. As long as you're not that close to me. The brakes on these things can get a little bit squirrely, so be advised. I consider myself duly noted. Alright, I'm going to do a little bit of a run-up here before I start following you. Sounds good, Shark. I'll meet you at the threshold of the runway. Ah, uh, who the hell am I kidding? If I take the time to do an engine run-up, she's gonna be like halfway to freaking Tonopah test range. Ah, uh, there she is. Well, at least she didn't get too far. Okay, next up, runway 3-2. So how's the ground handling in that one? It handles fine, Bell. Why? Should there be a problem? No, there's not a problem. I was just making sure that it's handling to your specifications there. No, what you're doing is you're making me paranoid. Stop it. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, forget I asked. Okay, parking brake on. There we go. And landing lights can now go on. Okay, um, I believe I pretty much have everything set to go. How are you looking up there, Tiger? Shark, I am looking California and feeling Minnesota. Alright, well I'm about to follow you into the desert then. As soon as you come off the brakes. Don't you rush me, Mr. Shark. The tiger goes when the tiger is ready. And there's no traffic coming, so the tiger is going to go now. Shark copies. Uh, what's the hold up there, tiger? 
quick question, Shark. Do you want the left side or you want the right side? As your wingman for this, I feel it's only fitting that I take the right side. Okay, right side it is. Give me a second to line up, please. Roger that. That is all on you. Shark, I am in position and ready for run-up. Give me the okay when you're in position. Right behind you. I'm going to edge forward a little bit here. Okay, right here is good. I'm ready. Hundred knots. Rotate. Gear coming up. Flaps coming up. Gear up. Flaps up. You have the lead, Tiger. First waypoint appears to be a few miles north of town, and then it looks like we're supposed to dog leg to the left. Is that correct? That is affirmative, Tiger. And what speed are you going, by the way? You should really know better than to ask me that, Bell. I'm going full throttle. Try to keep up, please. Yeah, I kind of figured that when you started becoming a dot ahead of me there. Holy crap, woman. But you know what? I'm not even surprised. It's your aircraft. Fly it how you want to. Oh, you know me, Mr. Shark. I intend to do just that. Like I said, try to keep up, please. Point one, Tiger is in the turn. Shark copies, I'm about to make the turn myself. I'm just waiting for my GPS to update. There we go. Alright, Shark is in the turn, and I do have visual on you way the hell out there. So this next leg that Ali and I are embarking upon is going to take us to the Coaldale VOR, or O-A-L, on our GPS. So we're actually going to bypass the town of Tonopah, and, uh, well, we don't really count the little business district over by the airport. That's not considered a part of the town of Tonopah. We can, like, barely see Ali up ahead. Holy crap, that's probably the last we'll ever see of her for this video. <laughs> Actually, no, that is incorrect. I came prepared for just such an eventuality. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the Alley Cam. About bloody well time I caught up with you. Are you planning on slowing down at any point in time today, dear? There's a song out there that said it best. Turn down for what? Oh, you got jokes.
Allie, what are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? I'm putting her through her paces. Oh, and by the way, my call sign is Tiger. Thank you. <laughs> I can't even with you. There she goes, folks. Over the top. We knew this was coming. Are you having fun down there, Tiger? Best birthday gift ever! I'll be up there in a moment, Shark. Uh-huh. Well, I have visual on you, and I've got the alley cam on, so I can keep track of you. Please try not to hit the Silver Mountains. Thank you. Hmm, that's a good idea, Shark. I'll try to keep that in mind as I swing around. Are you going to wait for me, or do I have to catch up on my own? So wait, wait, wait. You leave me in the dust, and then you've got the nerve to ask if I am going to wait for you? What do you think the answer to that should be? Well, I am just saying a gentleman always waits for his lady. <laughs> yeah, as you do aerobatics in the process. You're just lucky that I love redheads. Well, Bill, you know the fact of the matter is I have been a redhead my entire life, and you kind of knew this when you first started getting involved with me, so... <laughs> you are a piece of work. Look at you with your inverted self. Well, Tiger, I hope you're nearby because I'm about to make the left turn from Coaldale. Shark is in the break. Copy, Shark. Tiger's on your six and Tiger is in the break. Roger that. According to the GPS, looks like our next waypoint is Teasum. That is affirmative, Tiger. Uh, Teasum is just to the west of Montezuma Peak, so we should be seeing that on the left-hand side as we get closer to it. Uh, bear in mind that ultimately we're going to take this as far south as Beatty Airport. So we're going to be tracking pretty much along this course for like the next 60 or so miles. Wow, 60 miles. That's a bit of a haul. Well, it's a good thing I don't need to pee. Yeah, I'd say find a cactus at that point.
Alrighty, Tiger, we're closing in on the next waypoint. From here, it's going to be a little bit of a left turn and then a straight jog down to Beatty. I just got the update on the GPS. Tiger is banking to the left now. Copy that, Tiger. From here, we got about 31 miles. Whoa! What in the hell? I'm in your prop wash. Whoops. Sorry, Shark. There's not much I can really do about that. You're just going to have to fly out of it. I know, I know, I got this. It just took me by surprise, is all. I never expected it to be that much turbulence. Shark, Tiger, were you able to get out of my prop wash? I lost visual on you. What's your posit? Seven o'clock high, watching you do a crazy Ivan maneuver. Oh, good. I was hoping you could see that. I'm gonna take it down to the deck. Whatever floats your boat, babe. Matter of fact, I think I might end up joining you. I am currently on your six. As a quick word of note, just so you're aware, that deck comes up really quickly. You know, I think I read something about that somewhere. Ah, something about gravity or something like that. Hmm. Not to burst your bubble, but we're a little off course. We need to be tracking to the right. I can't help it, Bill. This aircraft is just so much fun. <laughs> I can't fault you for that, Allie. But you want to stay on course because the best part of the tour is going to be coming up. And she's going into an Immelman. Well, I think we all saw that one coming. Mm, correction, not quite an Immelman. More like a loop. I'll be down in a second, and then I promise I will stay close to you. Copy that, Tiger. Uh-oh, stall warning just went off. That doesn't sound good. Is everything all right over there? Yeah, yeah, she just had a little bit of complaints. Nothing a snap roll won't fix, though. Or maybe a couple of snap rolls. There we go. All better. Nice. So did you get it all out of your system? We can continue on to Beatty now. Well, I don't know, Belle. I might have a few more maneuvers that I might want to pull off just to see if I can shake the kinks out of her. Hey, as long as you don't break the plane or yourself, I'm perfectly fine with whatever you've got to do. Excellent news, Shark. Well, in that case, I think you're going to love what I do next. Tally one tiger and you are having way too much fun over there, let me just tell you. You know, I don't think I appreciate your tone, Belle. You say that like it's a bad thing. Well, don't get me wrong, I'm having fun too, but I'm just not all crazy with it like you are. next, Capitan huh? Wait, what did you call me? I called you the Shark Captain, Bell. Oh, I knew that. Of course you did, Bell. Of course you did. However, my question still stands. Where are we going next? I'm not familiar with this next waypoint, Lima 2-3. Lima 23 is the code for Pahut Mesa Airstrip, which is significant because Pahut Mesa 
was one of the major nuclear testing regions in Nevada. And it's my assumption we're going to be okay flying over this Pahut Mesa airstrip and not getting in trouble with either the FAA or the military. Come on, Tiger. You know me better than that. Yes, we are going to be fine. I have all the dispensation that we need to overfly this area and the next area. You know, Shark, it's because I know you so well that whenever I hear you say something like that, I can't help but get a little bit concerned. <laughs> yeah, and every time I say something like this, it usually turns out correct. So that was Pahut Mesa. Oh, there you are. Oh, that's good thinking. Uh, I just meant to tell you, the next area that we're going to be passing, we're definitely going to want to be about 10,000 feet and higher. So I'm glad you're up there. I'm going to come join you in a minute here. Against my better judgment, I'm going to ask, why do we need to be at least 10,000 feet, Bell? Come on, Tiger. I can't hand everything to you on a silver platter now, can I? Look at your GPS and see if you can figure it out. Okay, Shark, I'm playing along. I'm looking at my GPS and I see Alpha Romeo 51. Okay, what does that mean? Fine, I'll give you a hint. Think Independence Day. Independence? Wait a minute. Alpha Romeo 5. Bill Geo, do you have us flying to Area 51? Well, that took you long enough. How? Uh, what? How? You know what? I'm not even going to complain about it. I have always wanted to see Area 51. Good. Well, this is the only time I'm ever going to be able to pull off this kind of a favor, so enjoy the view and make sure you stay over 10,000. Well, what do you think? That was absolutely incredible, Bill. It is a lot larger than I thought it would be. This is the part where I go, that's what she said. <laughs> You're so silly, Bill. Okay, so where do we go from here now that we've seen the piece de resistance? Well, now we start to wrap things up. We're going to fly over the Nevada Test and Training Range, the NTTR and then we will take it on home to Tonopah Test Range and that should be it for our flight today and got a special dinner in mind for you at the airbase oh really a special dinner for me do I even want to know oh I'll tell you when I ran into your old CO and told him that your birthday was coming up uh, needless to say, they pull out all the stops and they manage to get a few of your old wing in. So, yeah, we're actually going to have a 
pretty good group dinner all in your honor for your birthday. Aw, oh, Bill, you shouldn't have. You went through all this trouble just for my birthday? Well, in case you haven't figured it out, Tiger, I would do anything for my number one Rio, my number one redhead, and I've got another special gift waiting for you once we get down. As soon as we pass this ridge, we should be over the uh, test and training range. Matter of fact, we should be able to see a big, huge bullseye out there. I tally the bullseye, Shark. What are all these other little buildings that I'm seeing below us here? Are those like barracks or something? A lot of what you're seeing down below are actual mock areas or target areas. Basically, they set them up uh, so that they can practice different exercises like, you know, precision attack or pinpoint bombing, you know, that sort of thing. Oh, I see. But yeah, there are some armories around here and a few barracks and whatnot. Um, I don't know the exact location of everything, obviously, but it's all around here. Wow, it's rather expansive. Yep, and also very restricted, so consider yourself fortunate that we're flying here today. Okay, our last waypoint before Tonopah test range should be coming up in approximately five minutes. So just to give you the heads up, we're going to be banking to the right and heading in on the northbound runway. Copy that, Shark. According to my GPS, that appears to be runway 32. A firm, runway 32. And as a matter of fact, if you want, we can do an airbase break. We do have the clearance to do that. Oh, you're just filled with all kinds of good news today, aren't you? <laughs> Honey, you don't even know the half of it. Hmm. Oh, really? I've got visual on the Tonopah test range area. I think now would be a great time for us to do our descent. We'll go, Shark. Okay, I'm beginning my descent now, and I do see the waypoint, so we're going to be swinging out to the right. Copy all of that. Roger, Tiger. As soon as I make this turn here and come on down to meet you, we can bring these babies home. Bear with me here, Shark. I'm in the planning phase of this approach. So, how about this? How about we come down to about 1,500 feet above ground level, we'll track along runway centerline, and then make a hard left break about halfway down the airport, and then that way we can circle back, do our downwind, and come in. How does that sound? I think you may have yourself a winner there, Tiger. Okay, I am coming through the turn right now, so you may want to lose a little bit of airspeed so I can at least keep up with you and we can try to make this thing look semi-professional. I told you, Belle, I can't help it. She just wants to fly oh so fast. I'm sure she does, Allie. I'm sure she does. Okay, I'm pulling up behind you now. That's funny, she's not ahead of me. Uh, Allie, I think I lost... Oh wait, there you are! What are you doing up there? When I said slow down, I didn't mean that much. What are 
do you want? Well, you told me to slow down, so I slowed down. It's not my fault you're not in the right place. Come on now, you know better than that. Yeah, I guess I am still going full throttle because somebody, not naming any names, decided they wanted to go full throttle for this entire time. Alright, I'm going to swing out to the left, so please maintain your current speed and heading, and I will slide up right behind you. That sounds like your normal modus operandi, so I am not concerned about this at all, Shark. Slide away. <laughs> I am so not touching that comet. Here we are folks, welcome to Tonopah Test Range, our final destination for today's flight. And what a really cool flight it has been. Now all I need to do is make sure that I don't slam into the back of my wing lead here as we go ahead and bring everything home. Alright, uh, I need to drop some more power here. I'm going to go ahead and get the gear down so that way we'll have a little bit extra drag. Alright, let's do that now. Okay, Shark. Tiger is turning to final. Roger, Tiger. Shark is turning to final. Incidentally, Shark... In case I haven't told you at all today, thank you so much. You've made this the best birthday a girl could ever ask for, and I love you for it. Aww, no problem, Tiger. Like I said, the best is yet to come. Let's just get these birds on the ground, and I will prove it to you. You, my good sir, have yourself a deal. Outstanding. As I love to say, I love it when a plan comes together.
Now's probably the worst time to ask, but what side of the runway are you landing on? Uh, I just assumed I was landing on the left side, just like when we took off. Okay, well, yeah, that's a perfect plan. Go with that plan, and whatever you do, uh, don't look behind you. Okay, whatever you're doing back there, Bell, please don't kill me. We're good, we're good. See, I told you we were good, and you look fabulous. All right, ready for rollout. Thank you, Mon Capitan. Alright, there we go. Parking brakes are on, and I'm going to go ahead and get everything all powered down. As Allie's making her way around here. Okay, folks, thank you as always for watching. This has been Bell Geode, and I have been flying in Microsoft Flight Simulator X Steam Edition. This is part of the Tom Cattery Tour. And we're here with Ali in Tonopah Test Range. If you like what you've seen, please feel free to give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. We will have another episode coming up sometime in the very, very near future. So be sure to tune in then. And you should be watching this on Memorial Day 2017. So happy Memorial Day to everyone out there. And remember the reason why this day exists. Alrighty, folks, I'm going to hop out because I've got one more thing to do. Hey, Allie. I'm right here, Bill. All right, don't go anywhere. I've got something for you. Oh, crap. I forgot it inside the cockpit. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Whatever you on about, Bill. Got it. I just wanted to give you this one final gift and ask you this one final question. <gasps> Bill, is that an engagement ring? Yes, it is. Aliana Shrike, would you marry me? Oh my god, yes! <laughs> <laughs>